Hey guys, Master Indigo here, and day two of Lock and Load PD2 event is, well, happening now. Uh, as we already knew, it's gonna be update day every two days, so today is not an update day. Instead, we got a Twitch stream. If you wanna go watch it, it's still on Overkill's channel, link down below. They didn't really discuss anything new, just what they added yesterday. And we have the riddle here to solve the ARG, what we already saw in yesterday's, yesterday's payday update, uh, Cobus 90, P90 weapon mod that makes the weapon look cool but doesn't actually add anything stats-wise yet. Hopefully in the future they can add, add something to the weapon modification instead of it just looking cool. I think these weapon mods could be a kind of nice way to make the weapons actually usable on higher difficulties as we know Cobus 90 P90 is not really a good weapon on higher difficulties maybe this weapon mod should add armor piercing ammunition or something to make it good or usable on higher difficulties maybe they could buff Amcar rifle with this way well anyways the Comic you can read here if you want to. I'm not gonna read it this way. I messed up pretty badly last time and it it's not sh showing all of it at the same time. You need to reload the page. Anyways, uh, the riddle, so to say, is here. One flight. It is safe in a garage. A mist of smell of cordite with the deceivers. So, so this is the clue that is supposed to lead us on how to unlock the weapon modifi modification. If you want to figure it out yourself, uh, skip around. I'm gonna tell you exactly how right now. So in order to find find the weapon mod and unlock it, we want to go to Contact Broker. Or if you want to wait on your crime mate, you can wait. You can go to Contact Broker here, Hector obviously, and Firestar. You can play it on any difficulty, it doesn't matter. You can play Team AI on and off on or off I'm gonna play it on here on normal difficulty it doesn't really matter you don't need to finish the heist as long as you pick up the item it's gonna be unlocked for you so whenever we go to the heist here I'm gonna show you where you can actually find it's actually a small folder near the garages uh, near the one house that has the World War 2 item pick up so what you want to do is go there, pick up the item, and after that you can unlock it in your Steam in uh, so not in Steam in inventory, but normal inventory. So it is right on top of these crates here. On the middle you can see that one. So you can easily go just up here and pick it up, take the folder, and that's it. You can hear the side job, side job unlocking audio cue, and that's it. You can quit the restart, quit, sorry. And that way you have it unlocked. You don't need to finish up the heist as I've already said. Obviously, if you want to, you can do that. But now, if I go to my inventory, let me buy another Cobus 90 here. Because I don't remember if I already have one or not. Because it's not really something I use that often. It's not a good weapon, I think. Uh, but this is how it looks normally. And in the lower receiver... Actually, I think we need to go to side shops and unlock it here. safe house raid okay i'm not gonna defend my same safe house right now so let the crew handle it let's go to side jobs and riddle one flight a custom assault frame for the gobus 90 machine submachine gun and there we go you need to go come here and press it in order to unlock it uh, i wasn't sure about that but there it is confirmed and then you go to your inventory open up your Cobus 90 and in the lower receiver we have the custom assault frame and uh, which makes your weapon look kind of different kind of adds this meat hammer look into the front without any stat benefits or disbenefits so it's actually only making your weapon look nicer but one thing it does currently do is it doesn't really work with most of the skins I mean the skin is applied sure but it doesn't really look how it's supposed to look as you can see with this one skin I have for this weapon you don't see the red stars you only see you only see blue with oil spill I think is one of the only ones that is currently working with it here we have Alamo Dallas that seems to be working bullet breakout works okay I, okay I can't really 
I can't really show you how it works or doesn't work because it jinxes those obviously if I don't have the weapon skin. Anyway, so as I said, I think Alamo the legendary is one of the only ones that is working. I can't really show you what else is working or not, but I've heard that not many of these actually work currently. So if you are a skin creator for this, I think you should get in contact contact with Overkill and get these fixed as soon as possible. I'm not sure if it's intended that it, they are not working with the skin or not, but this is currently the case. What we also got was some fixes for, from day one. In day one, for some reason, they added or in disabled an option for you to actually play Crime Spree on CrimeNet offline. Now that is once again fixed in Crime Spree here, you can play Crime Spree offline once again. So if you were worried about that, that is now currently fixed. Even though day two wasn't supposed to be an update, update day, there was a, a small update that actually didn't add content but fixed, fixed the content from day one. So another thing, uh, the store store storyline mode here allows you to play heist heist that you don't own the DLC. If you want to play something, you can now only play it on single player because this had something to do with uh, how Steam handles the DLC ownership and the heist. So if you were playing, say, Big Bank, I don't I don't know if Big Bank is in storyline. I haven't played more than these. So if you play Big Bank. And you didn't own the DLC, you would be marked as a cheater. So this is only a problem in the online mode. So they disabled, disabled you to be able to play this storyline mode, or the heist that you don't own as a DLC online. Now you can only play the heists you own as a DLC or base game online, and the heist that you don't own as a DLC in the Crime Net offline. Yeah, so you can still play everything, but what you don't currently own as a DLC you have to go and play with yourself anyways that's basically everything everything day two pros in payday to crime fest look and load tomorrow is obviously gonna be an update day once again we don't currently know what it is going to be but be sure to check out my channel tomorrow and if you already haven't considered subscribing I do payday two videos quite often and during this event, I'm going to be doing these videos every day. Anyways, I hope you guys are having a good day. I'll see you later. Master Indigo, signing out.